how many changes in your life would you ever have an opportunity to reintroduce an animal to its natural habitat where it was here years ago? You know, I, I really don't have the words to describe it. Returning wild, free-ranging elk to their historic range has been a core part of RMEF's mission since 1990. The reintroduction of elk into the southern Appalachian region was proving to be a success in many states, coming back to their native homes after a 150-year absence, including Virginia. In conjunction with just natural movements of elk over from Kentucky, um, we now have a population of elk that's 250 plus. Um, so we, we're no longer in a restoration phase, we're now in a management phase. And so we're just kind of letting our population naturally grow. One invaluable reason why Virginia elk are back are RMEF volunteers. They were instrumental in garnering legislative and public support for early elk restoration efforts in Virginia. And not surprisingly, they are back here today for a work project on the elk conservation area. They're gonna plant a few trees. I think uh, this morning I got some chestnut trees to plant and guard. And uh, they'll be doing some rock removal from the fields and stuff. Well, I, I've been here my entire life. As a young man here, we hunted for squirrel and rabbit. That's it. Never seeing deer and turkey here where we live, but we don't realize the power of wildlife and how it affects folks. Second chances don't always come around. The opportunity to restore elk and other wildlife for the people that remember the days without them is not taken for granted. And all the folks you see that's gotten involved with it, our volunteer base here and our support in this small community is huge. Being able to introduce folks to elk again, really good way to, to help bring something back. Over the past 50 to 75 years, the Southern Appalachian region has been an evolving landscape, due in large part to coal mining. Disturbance caused by coal production has created open meadow or grassland habitat in an area that's roughly 90% forested. So this has really opened the door for the um, resurgence of elk throughout the Southern Appalachians. And it's primarily associated with these reclaimed coal lands. If it wasn't for that habitat resource, we probably wouldn't have had the success that we have enjoyed today. That mosaic of habitat that the elk really need to thrive, um, it's, it's just very interesting to see how Central Appalachia is really in a unique position to support this expanding elk population and, and to help it spread and return to the mountains. Today we're going to be doing some hydro seeding to get some seed back on the ground. Uh, we try to get it covered as quick as we can, you know, just as far as erosion and stuff. If it don't rain us out, then we'll make it work. It's pretty amazing, you know. It's changed so much, and in, in my time here, uh, in the 55 years I've been alive, but in the last 20 years, to watch how things have changed and. You know, with Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation's involvement, it's the only reason this project ever even exists for elk here. The funding and stuff to make it happen, to get it going, and then like, you know, talking about all the volunteers with Army F and other chapters, those folks and the groundwork they had set forth, we're just blessed enough to be here where the reintroduction happened. The Virginia Elk Zone, located in the southwest corner of the state, consist of three counties, which is largely privately owned. We work with private landowners that um, have an interest in conservation, and we try to find ways to help landowners achieve long-term conservation goals. It's also a critical part of RMEF's mission to open or improve public access to land. RMEF can be the lead on a project or a contributing partner to another land trust or agency. Here in the Virginia Elk Zone, RMEF and the Nature Conservancy are permanently protecting 576 acres. Sometimes that means we have the opportunity to purchase lands uh, from landowners that would like to sell property, uh, knowing that it'll be managed for conservation for the long term. 
Uh, we signed the, uh, the papers yesterday. Uh, yesterday morning, the property was ours, and yesterday afternoon, it belonged to the Nature Conservancy Group. I think our visions are similar from the standpoint we want to see the elk survive, we want to see them thrive in this area, and that's a goal of both of us. The entire community benefits from what, what we're doing here. And hopefully one day our grandkids will uh, say, hey, my, my dad and, uh, and my papa, great papa, was a part of uh, uh, building this up. Well, we had our first elk hunt this past October 2022, and it was a major milestone for our program. Um, it came on the 10 year anniversary of elk restoration in Virginia, and we had six tags available for bulls, and all six hunters were successful. Um, and even, you know, we had a record book bull for our first hunt, and it was just a testament to all the work that's been put into the Virginia elk management program. Really, that all came to fruition, I think, in our, our very first hunt and local landowners donated 17,000 acres of access to make those hunts happen. RMEF was awarded a Virginia Elk Conservation License for the inaugural hunt, which they raffled off for over $100,000. Those proceeds went right back to the Virginia Elk Zone for various projects, like improving forage conditions and removing non-native invasive plants from critical elk habitat. I first started as a volunteer with the Elk Foundation about 26 years ago. The more I learned about the Elk Foundation, the more addicted I became to it. The more I could see what they were doing and the value of what they were doing. The work that I did with the Elk Foundation made the world a better place. It's leaving a legacy for my children, my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren, people that I'll never know. To watch what the people of Buchanan County and the countless volunteers, the DWR, the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation has done to improve this land to where it is now some of the best habitat in the state of Virginia. And what we were told this morning is some of the best elk habitat in the east. This didn't happen by accident. This happened because people are dedicated, because they care about what's here and they care about making it better. This was reclaimed strip mine land, a place that people thought was useless and it's no longer useless. Every day I can get out and go is the best part. And folks say, don't you ever get tired of coming up to you? And I, no, I sure don't. It's, it's fun and I enjoy it. Well, I love it. I don't just enjoy it, I love it. And if you want an opportunity to see where what you do helps any volunteer position with the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation is where you're going to find that. Over 150 years ago, these hills were home to native elk. Thanks to the efforts of many, they're back for good. Yeah.